so next let me continue uh, with the pipe shuttle method and you know this pipe shuttle method and hydraulic method so first we give you the pipe shuttle method so first the design steps for uh, pipe shuttle method but before this comparison hmm. the same you can find out in your notes I'm, 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 I'm going to follow the same so here on screen pipe shuttle method so you see the important points you can find in the notes uh, we'll talk about this table but before this directly this condition 11.2.2.3 uh, in the section number the pipe shuttle method shall be permitted as follows additional or modification to existing pipe shuttle system it means if it is already uh, the project uh, done with the pipe shuttle method any addition or modification we can follow the same method it's allowed uh, but technically you see new system if you're dealing with the new system it is allowed to use up to 5000 square feet or less area and one more point here you see additional or modification to existing extra hazard uh, generally for new uh, project for extra hazard this pipe shuttle method is not applicable but if it is an additional or the modification to existing extra hazard in that case we can use this for existing project or for modification for extra hazard uh, we can use this pipe shuttle method and if it's a new not more than 5000 square feet and you see as per AJ if they are allowing uh, to use this pipe shuttle method above 5000 square feet also in that case you need to maintain this pressure you see the residual pressure should be 50 psi but in normal condition you can follow uh, normal means uh, if you talk about this area less than 5000 square feet we are following the residual pressure which is given in table 11.2.2.1 here you can find out for light hazard you see 15 psi and for ordinary hazard 20 psi and extra hazard is not given but if you want to use this pipe shuttle method for extra hazard, then the residual pressure should be 50 psi. These are some guidelines for uh, the pipe shuttle method. It means you see, if the pipe shuttle method is applicable up to 5000 square feet, means above 5000 square feet for new project, hydraulic method is applicable by default, right? Because we have two options now. Getting my point. And similarly, and I think there is no confusion when I when I use the term residual pressure because at the initial classes uh, some discussion uh, it's residual pressure residual pressure means i'm not talking about total pressure the pressure what we are going to maintain uh, in the sprinkler and say last sprinkler that we can call residual pressure following online yeah. the light hazard you see if you talk about pipe shuttle method and this may this may be useful in interview also uh, and even for beginners these parts are important for light hazard 15 psi and for ordinary hazard 20 psi and the flow rate and you see all are predefined in pipe shuttle method these things are predefined in hydraulic method we are going to calculate okay that i'll show you in the hydraulic method so if you talk about the flow rate you see uh flow rate including the whole steam allowance whole steam means i'm talking about a uh, stand pipe system and at this level uh, i'll just show you one uh, anyhow i think everyone know what is hose reel uh, cabinet and the yes. nozzle i covered at the beginning uh, even for beginners beginners also know this I covered the starting session about the 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 overview of the systems and so in that you know hose pipe and the hose reel right with connect with the nozzle so this flow rate including that hose system it means i'm talking about the combined system at this level don't do any conclusion just get this point when we use in the when in the pipe shuttle method you'll get more idea again the hydraulic method and after completing pipe shuttle method when we talk about combined system you'll get uh, you can do the conclusion so at this level don't do any conclusion just get the things here this flow rate uh, including the whole steam allowance nothing but the stand pipe system is 500 to 750 gpm for light hazard for ordinary hazard 850 to 1500 gpm and the time duration we are designing for what 30 to 60 for light hazard and 60 to 90 for ordinary hazard but um, i think many people know this most commonly in actual practice we are designing this system for this online for two hours right in most of the area we're designing for two hours miss some additional for additional safety and remember this time duration will help you to find the capacity of the tank because if you know the flow rate for one minute and if you know the total minutes will multiply with that you'll get the total flow rate uh, sorry total capacity of the tank in in gallons at this level you see this uh, uh, if i use in gallons you'll get in gallons or liter per minute you'll get in liters anyhow we'll discuss this so these are you can highlight this if you have the hard copy table 11.2.2.1 is in the calculation and this is for pipe shuttle method if you talk about this hydraulic method uh, pressure point of view for hydraulic method uh, time of calculation 
will calculate the pressure for the residual pressure and even the total pressure also nothing but inflow node uh, pressure what is inflow node we'll discuss don't worry uh, but in that case the condition is the pressure sh cannot be less than 7 psi that's it anyhow that point we'll discuss again me with this information let me start this pipe shuttle method the pipe shuttle method first so first of all the design steps to get the idea then the same design step i'll i'll expand with one sample uh, project or with some one sample dimensions you know, with example and the steps you can find out in the notes but the calculation is not in the notes that will do in the class and for that i prepare a separate uh, word file that i'll share you uh, share you after this class but the calculation part you'll not find in your in your notes what what i what i provide to you calculation pdf i'll send you separately first of all the design steps and the design steps you can find out in your notes page number sir uh, this uh, residual pressure and the total pressure is same or uh, is no, that no, no, different total pressure is a inflow node pressure residual pressure means the pressure required at the sprinkler oh but there's not the total pressure that we'll discuss don't worry we have a detailed topic for, for this uh, hydraulic calculation note calculation in detail we'll discuss what is uh, node pressure what is uh, sorry what is the inflow node uh, pressure or uh, the residual pressure the total pressure the static pressure all this we'll discuss in detail right from the basic when i start the hydraulic method after completing this uh, uh, sprinkler this pipe shuttle method okay so at this level just focus on this pipe shuttle method and uh, <coughs> Here, the design steps. Uh, let me read this design steps. I'll give you some idea. So, here, automated sprinkler system designing, page number, uh, page number thirty-three. In bracket, uh, if you have the hard copy, please write pipe shuttle method to avoid confusion, because this step in page number thirty-three is for pipe shuttle method. See first, the first point, determining the hazard class of occupancy, and everyone know this. So you see, uh, determining the hazard of hazard class of occupancy, and I think everyone can understand this point. We discussed now yesterday only. So based on the building survey, first you must find out the hazard class of occupancy based on the combustibility type of combustibility, etc. You can relate with this. There is no confusion. Now, once you get the hazard class of occupancy, like light, ordinary, whatever, we can use or we can find out this area coverage and distance between the sprinkler using what? Using the tables and the table you can find out in your this table what I uh, use or what I explain at the time of this uh, PDF you see table 8.6.2.2.1 uh, but I have uh, the updated 2000 uh, give me a minute I'll give you the updated section number please make a note because this uh, table 6.8.6.2.2.1 is from uh, 2013 edition but now we are we have this updated edition that is 2019 edition so you can, you can just uh, note down this table number this 2019 edition you can find out in your nfpa folder if you have the hard copy directly here in page number page number 31 if you have the hard copy directly above this table number you can write so anyhow you know this table now this table for light hazard and this will help you to get the area coverage and the distance between the sprinkler yeah if you talk about this uh, 2019 edition also these numbers are not different but this table number is different just the reference number is changing but uh, the values like 225 square feet the 15 square 15 feet all these are same even in 2019 edition also there is no change in the in the course but the table number so if you know the hazard you can use this table and can can deal with the second step now the second step is what determine the area coverage and distance between the sprinkler simple based on this like whatever the hazard for using the table uh, next third point determining the number of branch line so here don't get confused branch line means i'm not talking about the branch pipe the branch pipe is different branch line is different here for example if you if you talk about the terms and terminology here in this line diagram and find out it's it's a, it's a plan it's a top view for beginners so if it is a top view this is riser from the top you will find this round is riser right if you are getting confusion uh, if you are a beginner if you're getting confusion let me know here this round is a riser and there's a cross main and branch you know so now here this is branch pipe but this branch line is different branch pipe is different branch line is different branch line in bracket you can read it's a construction line will use in cat to locate or to find the location of sprinklers but how exactly you will get the idea when i show you an example using cat don't worry i'll show you this but at this level don't get confused this branch line means i'm not talking about this branch pipe branch pipe is different after placing the sprinkler we'll draw the cross main and we'll we'll draw this branch line okay sorry uh, branch pipe 
so branch pipe is different branch line is different so branch line is just a construction line okay next here you see some more uh, information which we'll use in the calculation you see a a is what or you can write a suffix s nothing but area coverage per sprinkler equal to we are using this term s in 12 and what is s here s i am considering the distance between the sprinkler on the same branch pipe and l i am considering the distance between the sprinkler on different branch pipe so for calculation point of view require the two dimension x and y so we are considering this dimension as s and l getting a point and yes. if you want you can interchange also you can consider this as l or this is s. the calculation will not uh, affect and now you see a equal to s into l so you can relate this uh, right side you see area coverage this is one sprinkler no? so one sprinkler one side will cover you see l by 2 and this is l by 2 so total is going to be l right and this side you see this dimension s by 2 and s by 2 so total is going to be l no? therefore for a equal to what s into l the area coverage per sprinkler this is in general it's not applicable for all the hazards in case if you talk about the light hazard 15 feet is l and s also 15 feet distance between the sprinkler and distance between the sprinkler 15 feet means one side will it will cover 7.5 two sides 7.5 7.5 7.5 15 so 15 into 15 225 square feet so this rule is applicable for light hazard but for extra not for ordinary extra hazard this will not work. but don't worry we need to satisfy both the code area code as well as the distance code at the time of uh, arranging the sprinklers so here i think got the idea what is snl so snl is a two dimensions we are using at the time of calculation the calculation is just to arrange the sprinklers and if you want you can interchange also you can consider this as l this is s the calculation will not affect if the okay, number of sprinkler will not affect. and apart from this one more point if this is l and this is s it means from the wall suppose consider this as a wall or a beam or any reference so from that the the distance of the sprinkler should be l by 2 or s by 2 so that's the reason if you are maintaining the distance between the sprinklers a 3 meter most commonly in actual practice for a small or medium type of project so i think you people know this the distance from the wall we are maintaining 1.5 meter no? so 1.5 is what l by 2 or s by 2 and this will vary as per the hazard here the important point this formula is important we'll use at the time of calculation a equal to a s nothing but area coverage per sprinkler equal to s into l and uh, one side of sprinkler is equal to s by 2 or l by 2 so remember this will use in calculation next you see point number four or step four determining the distance between the branch lines so i'm talking about this l dimension and don't get confused again i'm branch line means i'm talking not talking about this branch pipe branch line means i'll, I'll draw that oh, horizontal and vertical lines say horizontal line I'm, i'll consider the branch line. means construction lines next determining the maximum allowable distance between the sprinklers nothing but i'm talking about this one s s dimension we'll, we'll find out and here you can notice l max and s max remember l max and s max from the court like for light and ordinary hazard you know this 15 feet now so 15 feet for light and ordinary hazard you can consider l max or s max then based on site condition based on the arrangement of sprinkler when we arrange uniformly you'll get actual s and actual l means the actual distance between the sprinkler in horizontal direction or in vertical direction or in two dimensions so that's the reason here l max and s max later you'll find out we'll find out l and s but how don't worry i'll show you an example next determine the minimum number of sprinkler on each branch line so when i draw the branch line on that i'll find out the number of sprinkler so that i can get the distance between the sprinkler the actual distance is between the sprinkler that is called s here s max from the code s based on the actual condition then determining the sprinkler and piping on drawing means uh, once we get the number of sprinkler arrangement of sprinkler we'll place the sprinkler on drawing and we'll start the line diagram right from the riser then we start the cross mm -hmm. line then cross main, then branches then area very area coverage because when we are dealing with the sprinkler uh, arrangement you must satisfy both the code area code as well as what the distance code and if you are a beginner at this level you will not get anything or you may get only the idea don't worry just i'm just reading this point when i expand this point with a sample project with the dimensions with sample dimensions of a space you'll get the idea don't worry 
next determining riser and cross main location based on the for the architectural the location of this uh, riser from this uh, shaft now and the shaft location will decide by the architect and then pipe sizing and pipe sizing is very simple in rivet uh, sorry in uh, firefighting because uh, we have the ready-made course we have the ready-made table based on the um, pipe uh, this uh, steel pipe or the copper pipe as per the hazard and if you know the number of sprinkler we can get that pipe size it's very simple and we cannot use the pipe sizer in firefighting because uh, we are following the course so and one more point i think you already know about this those who are already dealing with the plumbing uh, this plumbing and firefighting both we are designing based on what not based on the peak demand no? this point is applicable in even plumbing also means in plumbing at the time all the fixtures will not use similarly in firefighting system except deluxe system i'm not talking about deluxe system except deluxe system at a time all the sprinkler will not activate the pipe sizing based on the codes based on the probability not based on the peak demand so for that we'll follow the table from from uh, nfpa okay 